In the previous video, I showed you how to create a form on Tally. However, sometimes you don't get necessarily the time to create an entire form and you would like to use templates. Well, in Tally, you got templates that you can use. So I'm going to click up here on create a form and I'm going to arrive on the form editor that we saw previously, right? So there is an option called get started with template that you can click down here or you get or start with a template. And when I click on it, I arrive on a list of templates that have been created by members or by the Tally team. Here we see that Mary from Tally created some templates. So basically here, those templates can help you to save time and create immediately a form on the fly. So you have a lot of example, for instance, the lead generation form, the registration form, a feedback form, a contact form, or a job application form. So let's say that I would like to create a tally form to get job applications. So I'm going to click on here. And immediately when I click on the template, I got a full example on how my form is going to look like. So we can see here that I got first name, last name, email, phone, location. And we can see also that when we click on some inputs, we've got some options that can be put here related to the type of your input. All right, so I can see that here I got already something existing. So let's say that I would like to recruit, for instance, a community manager for codewithguillaume.com. I would use this template here and I arrive immediately into the form editor of Tally and I can change everything like I want. So I'm going to say um, community manager and here it's going to be full-time contract, okay? Uh, and here it's going to be uh, for the company codewithguillaume.com. There we go. So now I want to add my logo, so I'm going to do exactly like the same time. My logo is uploaded now. What I want to do is to add a cover, so I can click on cover and I can change the cover. Okay, so I'm uploading a cover that I choose. You an aspiring, let's say, um, community manager. There we go here. So what if I want to put this into Bolt, we see here that I got the code editor directly here, so I can click on Bolt, blah, 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 etc., etc. So I can see on all of them, all of these inputs, okay, that I got inputs type. When I click here on each field, I can see that I got options. I can say, hey, for instance, I want to hide this block. Or if I want it to be required, I can click on require. So when I go down and I try to submit here, okay, when I will try on submit, actually, not now, but later, it will uh, highlight here if it's not a right email. So I want to put all of them as required, okay? And we see here that I got also the example of minimum character or max character. So probably you would like to use this. We're going to see that into customization, okay? So I'm going to click on require, etc., etc. And here we see that I got the upload. So here we got the text area. It's basically working exactly like a text. But here we see that I got the upload option. So when I click here, we see that I got also options about multiple files, max file size, etc., etc. Okay, so let's say that I want to save this. I'm going to click on publish. And like always, what's happening is that I got my share link and I got uh, my uh, community manager offer here with no complete submission yet because I didn't share it yet. If I come back on a new form and I start again with template, what I can see is that I got a lot of options, a lot of templates that I could use for uh, future uh, goals, okay? So sometimes some templates have conditional logic. They already thought about everything. So here we, we can see that we got some promo telegram form, for instance, we've got other forms. We see that some people uh, published some forms here. So I'm gonna get back to the top, okay? And um, I can get some other options. I can see by my team. And we see that in my team, I have nobody because I just created this account. There is no template yet. But how can I create my own template? We can see up here that I can click on create your own. So if I click here, I got a full guide that tells me how to create my own template. So let's start to create my own template. And let's say that this template will be 
uh, for instance, to collect emails. Okay, so collect emails template. Uh, here's a template to collect email. This is a very basic example, but this is to show you how to publish your own template to collect emails. Okay, so if I go down and I click here on insert a block below and I click on email. Okay, I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on insert. Here we are. Okay, we see here also that I can move. This is something that I didn't tell the last time, but we see that I can move, for instance, my uh, my element down there. This is really, really useful when you want to uh, play with um, the, the size and the place of every element. And what I can do is to click actually on publish. And now while I'm here, I can go down and we see that we have create a template option. So I can click on create and suddenly I got this option here. So I'm going to say collect email. I can put it public or private. Okay. So if I keep it private, it's only people in my team that will see it. If I keep it public, we got this. So what I can say is to say, Hey, it's going to be about marketing. I can add a screenshot. This is a basic template um, to collect emails, basic template to collect emails. There we go. So if I click on complete, what's going to happen is that now my template will be available for everybody. And down here, we see that I got the download count of people who's going to use my template. So I'm going to get back. I'm going to click on delete and it's asking me if I want to delete this template. So I'm going to say yes. All right. And my template has been deleted, but I can still access, of course, my uh, own instance of collect emails. All right. So up here, I got a collect emails template where I want to uh, actually, I want to change it because I want to use it. So I'm going to keep it this way. And there we go. I got my collect emails. So basically, let's finish this collect emails uh, because it's not really useful this way. So what I want to do, I want to delete all of this. And as we can see, I can get back and I can change totally collect emails by clicking start a new template exactly like we did. So let's say I want to use the contact form. I'm going to use the contact form of Mary from Tally. And there we go. And if I want to, um, uh, basically, if I want to uh, customize it, I can still click here. I can still go to Unsplash, for instance, if you don't get any banner, I can put this and there we go. Then I will have all this template that will be available. I'm going to click on publish. There we go. I'm going to get back. And what I want to have is to uh, this link to test actually this template in production, because when you create a template, uh, or when you create a new form on Tally, it's always good to test it before. Okay. So I'm going to test it right away. Okay. I'm on the contact form. So I'm going to say Guillaume, my last name. I got no phone number, but it's required. All right. It's going to be called with Guillaume at gmail.com. And I will say hello. And I will click on submit. And we've got this quick message that has been created from the template and then I can change directly inside the form. When I get back to submission, we see that I got the full data here submitted at first name, last name, phone number, email, and I got my question that is here. So basically with those templates, we also got a model on the submission uh, uh, array, on the submission Google Sheet, for instance, if you want to download it as your CSV, everything is already done. And thanks to the template, we can save a lot of time about the question that we want to ask and about the design of it.